Blood, us black people, we got a bad reputation, particularly us black men. We got a reputation of not making nothing of ourselves. We got a reputation of being gang members and good for nothings. It's like there's certain individuals, they actually, I swear to God, they believe that it's white people pretending to be black people and standing on the corner of the street in gangs and clusters of man, carrying knives, carrying guns, shooting people, robbing people. No, it's black people doing it. White people, the police, Boris Johnson, all these professional MPs and that, they're not pretending to look like black people to give us the bad reputation and that. We've done that to ourselves. I made a video doing a reaction video to uh, a black kid was pulled over by a police officer in Cambridge and that. And this police officer is a local police officer that he pretty much knows everyone's face in it. If a man's been in the area for 10 years and that, or at least five, he's gonna know everyone's face. Um, and he saw a young man that he ain't seen before or whatever and decided to pull him over because he was under the impression that he was a young black man from London who's come up to Cambridge or wherever the area was to sell drugs. Chinese people didn't give us that reputation. Indian people didn't give us that reputation. Yeah, Italian people or Chinese people didn't give us that reputation. Us black people have given ourselves the reputation of being from London and going quite up to OT countryside to shop, county lines and that. We only have ourselves to blame. White people are not pretending to be us, you know. Yeah, white people want to be like us, you get me, with the music and the, the trendiness and the swag and that. But other than that, they're not making, they're not dressing up like black people pretending to be black people. We've done that to ourselves. We only have ourselves to blame. But it's not just black people that have a reputation. So obviously you don't know already if you've been watching me long enough. I've got a flat around the corner. And um, there's some exchange uni, uh, uni students from India. They've uh, been in a flat and that. And they're going to be leaving soon. And them man they live dirty, innit? Them man they live dirty. I made a video and I was shocked. I had to make this video and send it to my mum and send it to my gal and I even posted it on YouTube. At least Instagram, I think, anyway. I'm sure I posted it on YouTube and that. I renovated this property from Ross Clark scratch. New carpet, new bathroom, new paint, new electrics here and there. All new, you know them chrome, electrical sockets and that. Brand new, everything. Tiles. The only thing that I didn't uh, change was the, um, the kitchen units and that. But other than that, the property was pretty much brand new. Renovated it from scratch, pretty much. The people that I bought the property off, they would be impressed with the work that I've done, especially I've done it on my own. No other tradesman came into that yard except a man to do the gas boiler check because I'm not qualified to write a certificate for them. Other than that, man done all the work myself. You could have ate your food off the Ross Club floor, just like my yard right now. I let it out this, this property to these uh, foreign exchange Indian students and that. I went there after two weeks. 14 days, you know. It looked like they'd been living there for three years. The yard was dirty. And you know, at the beginning, they said to me, yeah, 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 we're going to keep the house clean. And I feel like slapping the shit out of them about you're going to keep the yard clean, blood. That yard was dirty. It's so dirty. Obviously, me and my man, I got OCD in that. But I feel like the yard was so dirty that I would never go in there without putting on shoe covers. Like, even yesterday, I went down there and... I've got like a, a tool bag that I take to uh, the tenant's them's yard when I do my work and that. And I keep shoe covers in there, brand new ones. But I took it out of my car and left it in my house over there behind this fridge, basically, in the hallway. So obviously, I've gone down to the flat. I needed to get something. I mean, I'm not thinking to bring my tool bag because I'm not doing no electrical work in it. And I pulled up and I went in the boot to go and get some out of my tool bag and that. And I thought, oh, shit, I ain't got no shoe covers and that. I'm thinking, nah, I'm, like, I'm not taking off my trainers and walking in that yard with that carpet with my socks and then I'm going to bring my socks back into my... I was thinking, fuck, right? I can't go in there. I need to go to the shop and get some plastic bags. I'm not taking off my trainers in this yard. The yard is dirty. Anyway, about, I don't know, two months ago or something, innit? One of the guys uh, moved out and I said to him, 
Okay, you're moving out, because basically I've got two rooms, yeah? So I've got two rooms there, and these two friends are renting the rooms, innit? So one friend's in one room, the other friend's in another room, and they live dirty. So one of the friends, he's moving out, he's going about his business and that. And I said to the other friend that's going to be remaining behind, you need to find someone to rent this room, because I cannot invite someone into this yard for a viewing. Because the house is so dirty, the house is so nasty. Why is the carpet so filthy? Why is the carpet so dirty? Was well, someone wearing trainers in there? No, no, no. You sure? Yeah, yeah. I made it so simple and clear for them. I backed out a £10 note and I said, when you lot first got this property, it was worth £10. I then backed out a £5 note. Now it's worth £5. Just to make it plain and simple English for them. They devalue the property, blood. To, you know, obviously, when I get back the property, I'll clean it and, and it'll bring it back up to standard. But as it is right now, I feel like they devalued that property. And I said to them, you don't need to be careful, you know. This is your first time in England and that. And this is my first time dealing with, uh, you know, Indian uh, exchange students and that. You need to be careful. Imagine me as a landlord. I'm doing business. I'm not here to be anyone's friend, blood. You, being my first time... Being my first time dealing with Indian students, you, you have given them a bad, you've given Indian people a bad reputation. You've made me think that, rah, the next time I'm gonna get some Indian students in, they're gonna be fucking dirty. So you know what? I might have to avoid getting Indian students in my property and that. Because I ain't got time to be uh, being nice and this is business, blood. I ain't got time to be thinking, oh, well maybe the next set of people are gonna be cleaning up. No, I'm just gonna assume I've had four Indian people in my yard. They've all been dirty, so I'm going to think to myself, but all of them are like that. This is business. Man, I ain't got time to be friendly with no one. This is what us black people have done, you know. We've fucked up our reputation. I'm saying that we can't change it, nah? but we've fucked up our reputation to where people think that all black people are the same. Nah? This is why a man gets so much call cool points. This is why people uh, rate me like, oh, Jay, you're doing so well, you're doing so well. Not because I'm really doing that well, because most people are all bum bullshit. Man, I'm not doing nothing with themselves. Man, I'm 29, and man, I've got three youths, blood. No property, but yeah, oh yeah, we've got this watch and this car and that. They think they're doing their thing. You're on bullshit, blood. You're on nonsense, fam. Yeah, I'm doing decent. I'm doing all right. Because if you compare me to the average white person or whatever, it, yeah, I'm probably doing better than them. But it seems like I'm doing exceptionally well in the black community. Because most people in the black community are on bullshit. When people meet me and I, you know, if I'm able to tell them that I've got properties and that before I reveal that I'm fucking Jamaican, they don't believe I'm Jamaican, you know. They think I'm Nigerian, blood. Because Jamaicans, unfortunately, we don't have a reputation of being smart and educated men. We don't have a reputation of, you get me, investing in property and making smart or wise decisions. Do you know what our reputation is? Exactly what I'm the opposite of. Breeding up gyal. Having four or five baby mothers and that. That's what our reputation is. That's why when men meet me, they don't even think I'm fucking Jamaican. They think I'm Nigerian and that. Because Jamaican man, they have a reputation of being on foolishness. Told you already. I've got a family member. Apparently this guy's got like 30 youths, blood. Are you trying to start your own race, my brother? Come on, fam. Come on, man. There's certain groups of uh, ethnicities of people and that. They've got a rap bad reputation. That's their own fault. And unfortunately... I don't know if the minority spoils it for the majority. Maybe it is the majority that spoils it for the uh, minority. But you see them Irish traveller people, they have a fucking bad reputation and that. I used to watch this programme, I think it was My Big Fat Gypsy Wedding or something like that. Or a similar programme to that. And the white English people then said, whenever they used to have like a hall and that, and people were phone up for a booking, when they hear the Irish accent, 
They put the Ross Club form down. They don't even want to deal with them because Irish traveller people have a reputation to hire out a hall, get drunk and smash the fucking place up and leave the place dirty and that. I don't blame the white English people for not wanting to do business with them because they're too much trouble. Why are you going to want to do business with a set of people when you could be rolling the dice and there could be trouble and there could not be trouble? No, fuck them. I'd rather hire out my hall to black people or white people or Asian people because I know the chance of them smashing the place up is going to be minor rather than it's going to be a 50-50 chance of these Irish traveling people smashing the place up. When I hear Irish travel people getting discriminated against it, I don't feel sorry for them. Because their people then gave them the bad reputation and that. Them man they're still doing bullshit, you know. <laughs> Fucking, I went to one of the tenants' houses about a week ago. And she used to work like in a restaurant or something. Yeah, it must have been a restaurant. And she said that, yeah, them Irish traveller people, they still, you know, when she was working there, they were coming, order two, three hundred pound worth of food. And then go up to the fucking waiters and that. And when it comes time to pay. Oh miss you know. Oh, I had to go to the toilet man. And I vomited and that. You can't expect me to pay and that. They're still running that bullshit. This is some 1970s shit. They man are still running that bullshit. And then they wonder why people don't want to serve them in restaurants and that. They don't want to deal with Irish traveller people. They're not all bad. But you know. I don't know if it's the minority spoiling for the majority. Or the majority spoiling for the minority. But their reputation is fucked. It's their own fault. There's good and bad in every race of people, obviously, isn't it? Yeah, but for some, it's worse than others. For some, the minority, uh, the majority does spoil it for the minority. I don't feel sorry for them. Don't feel sorry for them. Unfortunately, us black people, we got a bad reputation than that. Well, we only have ourselves to blame. Not as individuals, but as a collective race, we have ourselves to blame on that. Because even the ones that's not committing crimes, are still on bullshit. We still think it's a good idea to lease all these cars, run up all this financial debt and that. Ro Rolex, AP watch, fucking Cartier, Brightling watch and that. But we don't live in our own property. We're struggling financially. But it's alright. See, we can be fools because it's alright. Go away and fend it. Dumbness. So, them Indian students there put me in a position... Well, I think to myself, I don't even want to hire out my place um, to, to, to no Indian foreign exchange students and that. Because they're not going to live clean. Literally, the place was so dirty that I couldn't invite. If I've got one Indian you left in there, I couldn't invite a Polish man or a white man or a black man for a viewing and that. Because they're going to come in here and think, no, nah, no, nah, this place is too dirty. Even the people them that are dirty, some of them don't want to move in a dirty place. They've literally made me feel, think twice about renovate. Well, I'm gonna I'm in the process of buying a property. And by the time you lot see this, I probably got it anyway. I'm in the process of buying another property. I'm not even gonna bother renovate the property. I'll probably do the light cosmetic work, change the carpets, paint the walls, that's it. I literally thought to myself, yeah, I'm gonna get some nice tenants in. I was all thinking to buy a steam cleaner, you know. I was thinking, yeah, that place is gonna be clean. You get me? I'm going to be able to eat my food off the floor and that. After two weeks, two, three weeks, it looked like they've been living here for three years. On oh, my life, blood. On oh, my fucking life. Ridiculous, man. So, yeah, black people, we've got a reputation of being idiots and that. It's our fault. we got no one else to blame. People think that, oh, I'm doing so well, I'm doing so well. I'm doing well on that, but in the black community, I'm doing exceptionally well. To the point where man don't even believe that I'm Jamaican and that. Because Jamaican, we don't have the reputation of making good and right decisions and that. Man mistake me for being Nigerian and that. Yeah, I might look it a little bit, but definitely they'll say, yeah, yeah, he's probably Nigerian that guy got properties and he's got his head screwed on. Because most Jamaican men ain't got their head screwed on. Them Irish traveller people and that, people don't want to do business with them because they've got a reputation of smashing up places and that, not paying for food. Anyway, man. People them ain't got no one else to blame but themselves and that, yeah. Reputations and that could be changed. It's going to take a lot of work from the majority. Yeah, that's it, man. Stay wise, done, though.